So next yeah. up next, we're going to have SSB100 versus Haku. Haku <laughs> says he is... I believe he's going to go Sheik. Yeah, I think he's just um, playing Sheik a lot more than Pikachu right. recently. And, um, uh, I don't know who Drew's going to go. That's always the mystery now, isn't it? You never know who Drew's going to go. I would expect Olimar if he's... Uh, but I've seen the Marth lately, these past couple days. I know he has a pretty good Ike. So. He does, that's true. He has a pretty good lot of characters. Yeah. But friendly banter I, between the two. I mean, I'm guessing we'll kind of. I'm guessing we're not going to see the Olimar. I don't think we will, but we'll see. <laughs> I. I think I'm expecting to see something that's not Olimar game one. But if he loses, that's then it would be Olimar game. That's probably more accurate yeah. to the situation. Even then, I would like to see Olimar against Sheik. Uh, I think it's a good matchup. It's a tough matchup for Olimar. That's for sure. Um, Sheik's just one of those characters. She has such good zone breaking that just, unless you got like a bunch of purples or something, you're just smacking her with them. She's going to get in your face, and then Olimar just hates being off the ground. Oh, it's going to be Mark. I actually think this matchup is even. I think, it's I, I think it's pretty close to even as well, just because Mark does have such good range that he can compete with Sheik. Yeah, and he doesn't really to beat Sheik. You kind of need to have one of two things. You need to be able to challenge her from a safe distance, or you kind of just need to be able to keep up with her speed. That's true. Or you can just trade with her if you're a slower character. That's true. That is how slow characters beat Sheik. Mm -hmm. right. But I think that it's uh, Marth does have the potential to beat Sheik just off of the uh, the range that she like Sheik likes to be in. Because usually when she um, spaces forward or safely. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's this is a really nice string by Haku that was developing there. Um, just off of a couple of missed moves by SSB100, he's getting all this damage. That's something that I see a lot of Marths do, though. It's, it's kind of like an option select, where they'll down throw, and if you DI uh, away or forward to where Marth is facing, they'll do a back air, but afterwards it makes it seem as if um, you're safe, and then Marth gets another aerial afterwards. He tried to do that, but Hockey was aware of it. So good awareness on him. That was a good recovery. It was a good. It was a good mix-up for sure. He got out of there with minimal damage. Um, let's see if he can get some damage racked up because right now Haku's just kind of running away. Oh. Okay. Unfortunate SD. I think he did an aerial instead of doing an upbeat and he, fast fall it. Yeah. He, he. I think he meant to do the aerial. He just didn't mean to fast fall it. Right. I think it was a down air actually. So that's probably why he fast fell it. So at this point. Uh, at this point, so this is where it starts to... Haku. And this is, yeah, this is where the Sheik matchup is brutal. I mean, if you're any character. Like, you get... Sheik, Sheik gets an early stock lead, just forget it, man. But now, Marth has to approach where he usually wants to, like, control yeah. space and inch his way in, but as long as Haku exactly. just plays it safe and camps out with needles, uh, he doesn't have to worry about anything. But he, he's choosing the more aggressive, aggressive option, to sustain his face. I think that at this point, um... He's knowing that he has such a big lead that he's not really like minding going in and taking a few hits just to get some big damage of his own. That's a good point. Because he's still at healthy percentage. Like the only thing that's going to kill him right now is a tipper F smash and that down smash almost taking it. Good read on the missed recovery. Ooh, shield breaker almost going to take it. Air dodges through the up air. Oh, and, oh wow! Good air falls dodge. Right through the up smash. Pretty crazy. All sorts of kind of spaghetti happening here. Yeah, that was actually guaranteed. I, I wouldn't want to see Hockey. He got the tipper down until, and uh, he just didn't follow up afterwards. Ooh, Ooh. gosh. The, uh, Good all drift. This, all this, like, stuff. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Whips the bouncing fish on the platform, eats an up smash. Thundercats. Oh. Now, Might as well be Italian. It is possible, but I think at this point it's only possible if Haku misspaces himself or he just puts himself in bad positions. I would just like to see... Oh, my God. Okay, oh, okay. So never mind. We got two SDs from SSB. I think we'll be seeing a different character next game, but that's up to him, not me. I would like to see Olimar. I think we will. But, uh... I mean, he didn't see... I don't know. It seemed like he tried to get a spacing game started, and Haku just didn't let him. Just got in his face and, like, punished ever. All of his whiff stuff, he ate, like, 40 damage. Did I told you? So we are seeing the Olimar, we're going to go back to Smashville. I know Drew loves this stage, so it's not a surprise. And on this one, how do you think... Well, both these characters outside of just... Olimar is more safe, since he can just throw out Smash attacks. But they have difficulty killing if you play back right. or if you play safe. So how do you think um, each one of these characters should approach Smash? 
Um, she kind of needs to approach the matchup from like a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. um, Olimar doesn't really have anything to cover that space really super effectively. So you can kind of just jump at him and fair him and sometimes it'll just work. And you'll just be able to pop him off the ground for a string. Um, as far as how SSB needs to approach it, I feel like he's doing exactly this. He just needs to run away and respect Sheik's aerials and just kind of throw stuff at her. And get grabs when he can because that's big damage. Yeah. Well, I think it's still advantageous for Sheik. It changes the way that Sheik is going to play because the Pikmin can't eat up the needles. So I'm you just exactly. Can't and I'm sure that the needles nerf was just the godsend for Olimar in this matchup. Um, just because sometimes, like, she could just kind of sit back and do him mm -hmm. and just control the pace of the match by just sitting here. Kind of like Cloud's Limit. Yeah, the side B, I think the main tools that Olimar's going to have to use are just side B and then uh, pivot grabs to catch Ooh. forward airs. It could be forward airs. If he can Let's see how Aku's going to approach this edge guard. This is where Olimar is definitely the most vulnerable. He actually doesn't go off stage, which is kind of surprising to me. Something that I'll also like to see from, uh, from Aku is if you notice that whenever Drew does an up B on stage, he'll immediately follow down. Like, with the uh, neutral air, right? I think it's a neutral air. Yeah. When he spins. Yeah, the down. neutral air. I'd oh, like to yeah. see him just up smash it, you know? Yeah, just up smash once you see the mm -hmm. um, the up beat. Because he doesn't go in a free fall. It's kind I mean, of what uh, Sonic and Mega Man can do where they, yeah. they're just so right. used to people doing it. Right. So we got a really even game here. Um, oh my goodness, the up air almost closes out the stock, but that was a yellow. Um, I believe those are the weakest? Uh, in terms of smash attack, I believe so. Well, one killed right there, so I mean, they must not be that weak. Well, Sheik's pretty light. That and Olimar does have a, a decent rage. Yeah, so. so this is the point where I would like to see Drew maintain this lead, because at this mm -hmm. point, Haku's going to be forced to approach, and his main wow. approach options will wow. be forward. Wow, Re really nice string from SSB. Oh, the pivot blue grab, that was awesome. Yeah, the pivot grabs are what I think can help SSB maintain this lead because you just shut down a lot of what Sheik is going to do just because it's such a long range and it covers the forward air even yeah. though it's safe He's on put himself air. in a really nice position where he doesn't have to commit to anything on safe. He can just kind of roll around, run around, do his um, his quick on stage move like that, like right there. Mm -hmm. That could have been an up smash. That could have been like some sort of... Ooh, gets the uh, side hit box of the dare there. Haku seems to be getting desperate. I mean, that's... He's desperate for the kill, I mean, and he just wants is, to even it this up. Is, this is the reality of the new Sheik, unfortunately. Um, I, I need to see him. There oh, we go. Good. That was a really nice option to just kind of go off stage and color, cover all of his options for recovery since he went low with the vanish. That was really smart. I like how he didn't go to the ledge immediately. He waited until he saw Olimar commit to the up and then he did it. And I hope that Haku does realize that just how vulnerable that Olimar is down there. So, so, really nice lead from SSB here. He's only going to need probably, he's going to hang on to that blue. Um, probably about 20, 30 more percent, I think that up throw will kill, as he has, especially if he has a little rage. I'm not sure on the exact numbers, but um, probably just going to look for that at this point. I would say a, a safe bet would be like 130 to 1. Around 130, yeah. And I mean, F Smash is so safe as well. You, you got to be looking for that as well. Yeah. Haku's, uh, Haku's starting to realize that. I just want to see Haku go in for more more grabs because he does dominate the neutral and if you can dominate the I neutral feel like on this yeah I feel like he's taking jabs when he could take a grab and get more damage mm -hmm. ooh nice oh, ooh, oh ooh, that could have been really good oh, oh jumps right into jump. the F smash that was really good coverage from the SSB that was going to cover every option except for like. yeah it might have uh, neutral get up probably would have Gone past you might have, you might have, he might have been able to invincibility past it with neutral get up. And that was Smashville. It's not a, it's not a bad stage for Sheik. So. I see. This is where I thought. I thought um, Haku was going to go to either Battlefield or Dreamland. I'm not sure about Battlefield over Dreamland. I feel like. And against Olimar, I, I feel like I wouldn't go here personally, just because I feel like he can kind of shield himself with the platforms from aerial attacks. That's true, and with Sheik already struggling to kill, and how he got the kill based off an edge guard, where he yeah. was vulnerable. Well, yeah, he needs those edge guards. That's how Sheik's going to win this matchup, ultimately. I want to see Haku just go off with Nair more. Go off with Nair, because there's no hitbox on uh, Olimar's up B. So just go off with Nair, it's active for a really long time, and it just hits. It's free damage. It was kind of a weird exchange a couple of seconds ago there. Um, Aku had two Pikmin on him, and SSP wasn't really doing anything, but he just kind of just stood there and let the Pikmin hit him. I was a little 
I, I was wondering why he didn't try to do anything to get him off. I don't think if if Haku doesn't start going off stage and edge guarding, I think he's just afraid of what might happen, maybe a, a down air or forward air. But well, I mean, I don't think there's much to fear against Olimar off stage. But the problem is with Haku right now is that he can't even get Olimar off stage consistently. He's not able to wreck. See, like right there, that was a grab. I feel like he's just too tentative to do everything right now. He seems to just be trying to instead of going for. You know, the defensive options, he's constant. Oh, that, that was good. That was, see, that was good. Um, and it's free damage. He is going to tuck it, but it is free damage. And he does reset, like, the stage control in neutral. But at the Ooh, same time, you got to take your damage when you can. Mm -hmm. Especially with Sheik, who needs all the damage he can to kill. So I don't I don't, I don't, don't disrespect that option for Haku at all. Mm -hmm. I would also just like to see more needles. Just charge them up when you can. Because SSB is annoying, just retreating. Is that the needles actually... Um, just the Pikmin just hit them and they stop. Well, I would like to see fully charged needles for the edge guard. Just uh, full hop oh, into oh, needle and full into hop needle bouncing fish. Yeah, because Olimar is uh, susceptible to that very well. I feel like Haku is so tentative to just run up and grab SSB, but he's been giving him opportunities to. Like I haven't once seen him just try to grab him. Then again, I mean, she Pick doesn't get a ton off the grab, especially with a lot of rage and at this percentage, maybe she doesn't get a ton, but... It could also just be that Haku's frustrating and he doesn't know how to approach wanna, the matchup. You just want to get him off the stage at this point, because he's controlling it so well. I don't see um, SSB shielding a lot, so I would just like to see more dash attacks. Maybe just go through. Oh, oh, the weak hit of the bear doesn't even force attack. He probably was ready for it anyway, but at the same time, just you want, well, I saw you want a little, to force it. I saw a little bounce, so I don't... No, he didn't bounce off the stage. Well, it was such a weak hit that it he just It was such a weak hit, he didn't bounce off mm -hmm. the stage. See, that was a punish. He whiffed the grab. But, Haku is doing a good job bringing this back. He just, he's got to avoid that blue. Oh, definitely. At this point, just, just use needles. At, Ooh, oh. the forward smash going to catch the landing. Okay, so... I would like to see, yeah, more mix-ups like that. Nice read on the air dodge. Catches it with the bomb. Ooh! Almost catches another one. Oh. Really tricky recovery from SSV there. That was. I would have liked to just see a Nair come out when he was uh, right below him. He, I, it seemed like he was looking for a back air to try to stage spike, but I would like to see the Nair reset him, go back off on stage, get your jump back, and then just keep edge guarding after this. Oh, and the bouncing fish hits the bouncing The bouncing fish Pikmin. hits the Pikmin as well. That's a weird interaction. It was on... <laughs> He's on Sheik, too. Oh. Oh, that's it. That's he went out too deep. Mm -hmm. I didn't see him use his double jump, I don't think. Uh, he did it when he did the fair. Oh, yeah. He did a fair. I don't think he did a bouncing fish. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. But Overall, it just seems like Haku was frustrated and he couldn't... He just think. couldn't win stage control consistently. He didn't, he didn't really pressure SSB when he was in the air and off stage that effectively. He rarely got extra hit damage when he won the neutral. All he would get was one hit, and then it would reset, and Drew would rack up 50 more damage. Yeah, not... Overall, um, he was playing pretty patient, but he wasn't picking and choosing his spots. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the main main thing. He wasn't punishing with what he could have done right. a lot easier.